Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'll be discussing the Game 1 international friendly between the U.S. Women's National Team and the Republic of Ireland, or Ireland's Women's National Team. No connection to the Northern Ireland Women's National Team. The U.S. are coming off of three wins against Canada, Japan, and Brazil in the She Believes Cup, while Ireland are coming off of a nil-nil draw against China. When I was looking up Ireland's record for this year, it looked as though Ireland didn't play that many games. Ireland did have a friendly against Germany, but it was a closed-door friendly, which means it wasn't open to the public and the score wasn't revealed. I heard Germany won that friendly and the score might have been 3 nil but no one really knows, no one knows who scored, and it wasn't an official FIFA match. I kind of like the Ireland national team to some extent. If I was serious about playing football professionally, I could actually play for the Republic of Ireland national team, if I was selected, of course. <laughs> anyway, the Republic of Ireland is a pretty interesting team. There are some names I recognize from the team, like Denise O'Sullivan, Diane Caldwell, Louise Quinn, Lucy Quinn, no relation to Louise Quinn, Rusha Littlejohn, and of course, Katie McCabe, who a lot of people say has gotten more vicious lately. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to be fun for the U.S. midfield. When it comes to the U.S. women's national team, though, the roster for these two friendlies have a good mix of veteran players and semi-newbie players. However, out of all the vets returning to the national team, the one vet people are talking about the most is Julie Ertz. Julie Ertz being selected was almost out of nowhere. <laughs> I think a lot of people thought she decided to retire quietly because you didn't hear much about her. But now she's back with the team and we have another six. A question a lot of people are, are asking is if Ertz can still play at the national team level after being away for so long and not being able to play for a club team. We'll find out in these friendlies if she can still play at that level. If she can, then we have another six for the national team, and we won't have to be so reliant on Andy Sullivan. We can actually use them interchangeably, which can reduce injury for both of these players. Going back to this first friendly against Ireland, I definitely think the U.S. can come away with a win in this match, but it could come with a challenge, i.e. Katie McCabe. <laughs> I think if the U.S. is aggressive and quick with their attack, we can definitely overwhelm the Ireland back line. I would go for a very aggressive and overwhelming attack. I would probably go with Smith, Rodman, and either Mal or Morgan up top. I'm leaning more towards Mal though because she's a very quick player and could create a lot of good chances for the attacking players. I think I would also go with Huerta and Fox as right and left backs because those two like to press in the attack. Huerta has pinpoint accurate crosses and services that I can see our attacking players getting on the end of, especially if we have Korniak in the attack. I would also play Kruger and Davidson since these two have a lot of defending experience, and I think they would be good support for Fox and Huerta. At the same time, it would be a good test for them as well since they're also just returning to the national team. As for the U.S. midfield, I'm going with Ertz, Korniak, and Horan or Sanchez. I want to lean more towards Sanchez, though. Korniak would, could play as a double six if she is needing to support Ertz, but I think I would prefer her pressing with the attack, which is what Casey Stoney, the San Diego Wave coach, has in mind when it comes to Korniak. Personally, this is how I would try to play the U.S. team. Again, I want an aggressive U.S. attack like we had before in past years. The U.S. can still play like that. We've seen them do it against Germany, Canada, and Brazil. Of course, we need to be able to connect in the attack in midfield and between attacking players. Connection in that final third is essential, but we should be able to do so, or we should be able to do it if we can maintain our attack and overwhelm Ireland. Now, let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, so the lineup. 4-3-3, we have Alyssa Nair in the goal. For defenders, Becky Sabron, Crystal Dunn, Emily Fox, and Naomi Gurma. In the midfield, we have Lindsay Horan, Rose Lavelle, and Andy Sullivan. And in the attack, we have Mal Swanson, or Pew, Alex Morgan, and Sophia Smith. And here are the substitutes. Little disappointed Kruger and Davidson aren't playing in this one, but maybe we'll see them in game two. 
The rest of the lineup looks all right. We'll definitely be able to maintain a quick and aggressive attack, especially with Mal Morgan and Smith up top. These three tend to connect pretty well, and like I said, that connection in the final third is going to be important. I'm very interested in the midfield, though, <laughs> and how Sullivan and Lavelle will do going up against Katie McCabe. Haran has faced, has faced McCabe before in the Champions League when Leon faced Arsenal. I'm not sure if Lavelle has when she played for Manchester City, and I think this is the first time Andy will be meeting Katie McCabe. <laughs> That midfield battle between Sullivan and McCabe is going to be fun to watch because I've i noticed a few times with Andy, if she gets knocked around enough, she'll have a go at you. I think our midfield should be able to keep possession well enough in this one. Backline looks good as well. If the U.S. can keep control and possession, this could be a chill game for the backline and Fox, Germa, or Dunn will be able to press with the attack. Anyway, let's get into the first half. All right, so the first half, we are off. We are in a 4-3-3. Ireland is, I think, in a 3-5-2. Yeah, that's interesting. That's <laughs> that's actually my favorite formation. Um, not as a goalkeeper, though, but I do like 3-5-2. Anyway, one minute. Fox plays it up, taken away. Ireland on the attack, plays it up, goes out of play. Ball thrown into the U.S. box, kicked away. Two minutes, Ireland corner kick, headed over by Louise Quinn. Yeah, watch out for those and watch out for her. Louise Quinn, she's pretty tall and is most likely going to be Ireland's tar target for headers. Three minutes, long ball to the Ireland box, kicked away. Ball to the U.S. box, kicked away. Ireland foul, U.S. ball. Four minutes, Germa sends it up, headed away. Horan up to Morgan, be into it by the keeper. Five minutes, long ball to the U.S. box, recovered by the U.S. Six minutes, Germa plays it up. Ireland intercepts. Lavelle has a shin-to-shin -shin collision. She's okay. Seven minutes, ball to the Ireland side for Morgan. Defended away. Some good footwork by Smith. Eight minutes, Dunn sends it into the Ireland box. Smith almost gets a foot on it, but it goes out. Nine minutes, McCabe fouls Fox. U.S. free kick outside. Lavelle sends it in. Kicked away. Haran down in the box after a collision. No foul. Yeah, I didn't think it was either. <laughs> 11 minutes, ball up to Mal, loses it. Haran plays it into the box, kicked away. 12 minutes, McCabe takes the ball off Smith. That was kind of awesome. <laughs> um, Sullivan blocks off McCabe. McCabe down after getting caught by Sullivan. Trainer's out to check on her. She's okay and is coming back in. 14 minutes, Lavelle touch, kicked away. Ireland on the attack. Ireland cross, played into the U.S. box, kicked away. Ireland foul, U.S. ball. 15 minutes, ball up to Mal, kicked away. 16 minutes, U.S. corner kick, short. Why? <laughs> ball sent in, kicked away. U.S. corner kick, don't do it short. Eh, either way, it was still headed away. <laughs> um, 17 minutes, Smith dancing through defenders, runs into the box, ball goes to the keeper. Yeah, I think she needed a little more support there. Some good defending by Fox. 18 minutes, Ireland corner kick. Quinn header attempt kicked away. Cleared, Ireland attempt saved by Nair. 20th minute, Smith plays it in. Who was that too? That went right to the Irish defenders. U.S. cross save. Mal plays it into the box, but runs into Caldwell. 21 minutes, ball sent, into the Ar sent back to the Ireland keeper, I mean. Kicked away. 22 minutes, U.S. foul. I Foul, Ireland ball. Ireland cross, awkward block by Nair. Ireland attempt times three, block times three, then cleared. And also good defending by Germa and Sauerbrunn. 23 minutes, Mal making a run, ball in the Ireland box, keeper saves. But Mal looks to have collided with the keeper's knee or thigh. Mal down, trainer's out to check on her. That's not good. I'm still wondering, like, did she take the knock to her head? Trainer is touching her neck area. Maybe collarbone? She's up. Um, so from the replay, Mao's head did collide with the keeper's knee when she went for the save. Um, I think Mal is going to continue. Not sure if I would risk that for a friendly, because once again, these are just friendlies. Um, not sure if I would want a player to risk that. Like, that was a really hard hit to her head. And it was the keeper's knee, of all things. 
28 minutes, game starts up again, and Mal is back in. 29 minutes, Ireland cross, headed away. Smith making a run. Smith fouled, grabbed yellow card for Ireland's um, Mannion. So, um, sorry if I mispronounced that. 30th minute, ball in the Ireland box. Morgan kicks it out. I don't think she could turn, so that's why she kind of kicked it out. 31 minutes, ball in the box for Smith. Smith attempt blocked by Quinn. 32 minutes, U.S. corner kick kicked away. U.S. corner kick, Haran heads it wide. 33 minutes, U.S. cross, nothing from it. U.S. still with the ball. Fox running into the box, cut off. Ball guided back to the keeper. The fact that the U.S. is playing with three defenders against the U.S. is impressive. They're handling things really well. 35 minutes, Smith attempts, saved by the keeper. 36 minutes, Smith to Haran. Haran <laughs> slips, loses it. Sullivan to Fox. Fox attempt from outside the D. Scores. U.S. 1-0. Great goal from Fox. 38 minutes. Good 1v1 in defending by Sullivan. Gurma to Mal. Mal mistouch kicked away. 39 minutes. U.S. foul. Ireland ball. 40th minute. Mal down, holding the back of her thigh. Trainers out to check on her. If it's the back of her leg or the back of her thigh area, it could be a hamstring injury. I actually don't know. I can't tell if she grabbed the back of her thigh or her knee. So they have the stretcher on the pitch now. I'm hoping it's not a knee injury. But from a clear replay, Mal grabbed her knee when she went down. So probably most likely a knee or ACL. And they put her off, they put her on the stretcher and she's coming off. Get well soon, Mal. I'm hoping it's nothing serious, but I think it is, unfortunately. It's definitely related to the knee. Anyway, 46 minutes, game starts up again. There's going to be seven minutes of added time. U.S. substitution, Mao out, Rodman in. Ireland foul, U.S. ball. 48 minutes, done cross, goes wide. Haran cross, Smith attempt goes up, then cleared. 49 minutes, Ireland scores from distance, but it's offsides. That would have been an awesome goal just from that angle. <laughs> 50th minute, Ireland cross, good block by Fox. 51 minutes, Ireland corner kick goes over. 52 minutes, whistle blown, first half ends. U.S. 1-0. All right. Um, yeah, so that was the first half. Good first half, I guess. It's sad what happened with Mal, though. It definitely looks like a knee-related injury, which, if it is, means Mal would be out for the rest of the NWSL season slash the rest of the year. Hopefully she's okay. Mal is a very important player to the U.S. team and our attack. We do still have Rodman, which is good, but I always like that attacking combination of Mal, Smith, and Rodman since these are quick-moving players and they can drive the attack forward. As for the first half, it was all right. Ireland is playing in a 3-5-2. The midfield is looking pretty congested, <laughs> but so far the U.S. has been doing a great job getting through that. Through that. In terms, in terms of controlling the midfield, it looks split between the U.S. and Ireland. Ireland has been able to get down there and launch attacks. The U.S. has been able to get through, the, through to the Ireland side. I think if the U.S. can keep up their pace, they'll be able to break through Ireland's back line a lot easier. Fox's goal happened through quick movement and touches. If we can do more of that, we should be able to extend our lead a little more. As for the U.S. back line, they've been solid for what's been thrown at them so far. So far, the U.S. looks all right. Let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, we are off. 45 minutes, ball up to Smith. Smith unable to keep it in play. Um, good build from the U.S. and Sullivan there. I don't think we made any second half substitutions just yet, and I don't think Ireland has either. 46 minutes, Ireland cross, Ireland attempt blocked. Why is Rodman dropping back so much? 47 minutes, Smith to Rodman. Rodman cross, Smith attempt, kicked away. 48 minutes, U.S. corner kick. Um, nothing from it. Ball to Fox, kicked away. Surprise, that's not a corner. I thought it came off an Irish player last. 49 minutes, Ireland foul, U.S. ball. 50th minute, ball in the U.S. box, kicked away. Smith making a run. 51 minutes, Lavelle to Rodman, kicked out. I'm um, done cross Rodman header attempt goes wide better control in the midfield from the U.S. I'm noticing 
53 minutes, ball in the Ireland box collected by the keeper. 54 minutes, Ireland on the attack blocked. 56 minutes, Lavelle up to Rodman. Rodman, top corner attempt goes over. Rodman took a small knock, but she's okay. 57 minutes, done cross. Rodman header attempt, good save by the keeper. 58 minutes, Ireland cross, kicked away. 68th minute, Morgan and an Ireland player down after a small collision. They're both okay. Ball towards the Ireland box goes out of play. 61 minutes, ball in the Ireland box, kicked away by the keeper. Ireland on the attack, kick back to Nair. 62 minutes, Hatch and Ertz prepping to come in by the looks of it. Ball in the Ireland box, kicked away. Ireland player down, I um, think it's Little John, Rusha Little John, but she's okay. 64 minutes, ball in the Ireland box, collected by the keeper. Haran up to Morgan, headed away. 65 minutes, Ireland clears. U.S. substitutions. Morgan, Dunn, and Sullivan out. Hatch, Sonnet, and Ertz in. 66 minutes, Ertz cross, kicked away. Ertz sends it up, kicked away. 67 minutes, Ertz to Hatch, headed away. 68 minutes, after <laughs> a lot of hesitation and reluctance from the U.S. attack, Lavelle attempt pushed wide. Were you guys trying to decide who was going to take the shot? U.S. corner kick, kicked away. Sonnet cross, defended away. 69 minutes, Ertz to Sonnet. Sonnet attempt blocked. Smith attempt blocked. <laughs> 70th minute, U.S. cross, Haran header goes over. Guess a deflect deflected along the way. 71 minutes, U.S. corner kick, defended away. Haran cross, hatch attempt, keeper saves. Haran looks slow with her touches and passes in this match. Ireland on the attack, yellow card for Ertz after a late challenge on McCabe. <laughs> anyway, 72 minutes, Ireland free kick, ball sent in, Nair saves. Nair arguing with the ref about something. 74 minutes, Hatch, if you don't pass it off to someone else, I swear to God. 75 minutes, Ertz cross, Haran attempt, goes wide. U.S. cross, defended away. 76 minutes, Rodman mad <laughs> um, for an Ireland player holding her. Ref finally gives the foul. U.S. free kick outside the Ireland box. Haran attempt from the free kick, defended away. 77 minutes, U.S. corner kick, cleared. 78 minutes, Ertz cross. Ertz cross, Haran clearly pulled down in the box by Rusha Littlejohn. Yeah, that's a clear penalty. U.S. penalty kick, Haran is going to take it. Yikes. Keeper saves, but can't keep a hand on it. Haran scores. U.S. 2-0. Good job. If only she could have done that against Chelsea. 80th minute, Smith cross kicked away. Apparently Sanchez is also in. <laughs> Not sure when she came in, but she's here. 82 minutes, Ireland foul, U.S. ball. Good footwork by Sanchez. Rodman cross, Haran kicks it high for some reason. Why? Why did you do that? Could have just crossed it in. 83 minutes, Smith attempt blocked. Hatch can't put it in on the rebound. 84 minutes, Haran fouls, I guess, Ireland ball. Smith to Hatch. Hatch <laughs> doesn't notice it, taken away. 85 minutes, McCabe down. Hatch might have hit her in the face by accident. Hatch up to Smith, off to Sonnet. Sonnet cross, Smith attempt, can't get a good touch. Fox attempt, blocked. Fox probably wanted a second goal. 87 minutes, U.S. corner kick, nothing from it. 88 minutes, Rodman cross, kicked away. Ball in the Ireland box, kicked away. Haran cross, headed away. 89 minutes, Smith making a run. Smith attempt, saved by the keeper. 90th minute, Ireland cross, blocked by Sonnet. Three minutes of added time. 91 minutes, Ireland corner kick, headed away. Ball sent in. Quinn header, goes wide. 92 minutes, ball sent to the U.S. box. Nair, unable to get to it. 93 minutes, Ireland corner kick, short. McCabe cross, Nair sends it over. Ireland corner kick headed away. Ireland trying to argue for a foul, but not given. Whistle blown, second half ends. U.S. wins 2-0. All right, so not a bad performance from the U.S. The second half seemed more controlled by the U.S., which is good. Ertz coming on for Sullivan was also great. She did well for the minutes she was able to get in the second half. But I think I would want to see her start and maybe play a full half to get a, bit, a better read on her. Or actually, no, maybe a full game to get a better read of, on her. Control from the U.S. was really good, but at the same time, I think Ireland might have changed their formation, which worked out for the U.S. 
it wasn't as congested in the midfield like the first half, and the U.S. was able to keep better possession. When it comes to the U.S.'s attack, I thought they looked a bit off <laughs> and not as connected. Finishing definitely seemed like it needs work. Like I said before, connection in the final third is important, and that is something we're going to be needing to work on more. Then again, it looked like Ireland was playing with four defenders instead of three, maybe because the U.S. was starting to get more aggressive with their attack. That's kind of the problem with a 3 5 2 it's more of an attacking formation. Serena Weichmann of England uses it as an attacking formation against less developed national teams. See England's match against Latvia where they won 20-0. Yeah, that's not a typo. <laughs> um, Serena Weichmann's England team played Latvia and beat them 20-0 in a 3-5-2. <laughs> I mean, you could put in a defensive midfielder to make up for the missing defender, but it's still not a formation I try to do against heavy attacking teams like the US, England, Germany, or France. Anyway, good match and performance from the US. I really hope Mal is okay. They said it's a left knee injury and that's about it so far. More news may come out later. So the US's second match against Ireland will be on Tuesday, April 11th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll also have the NWSL weekly schedule uploaded on Monday, May 10th, I mean April 10th at noon Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time. The NWSL regular season starts up again on Friday, April 14th. That is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.